Okay, so when I bought this helicopter, amazingly it had the Pitot 2, but it did not have the Gatling gun. I wish the phone would, camera would focus better, but basically what I've done is I've drilled out the center of the Gatling gun, and I'm going to take this incredible copper tube that I ordered, which is just the right size, and change it into, an, into my Gatling gun. It's gonna be awesome. And it's actually gonna have holes in the ends, unlike the original plastic one that did not. All right, so I masked off everything that I want to keep, uh, which includes um, all of the uh, decals. They're not decals, they're actually painted on because 21st Century Toys is incredible. Uh, but I've removed a lot of things too. For instance, the uh, tail fins, uh, the horizontal tail fins were incorrect uh, for the Viper. And um, I have removed the uh, tail rotor because it's incorrect for the Viper. And we're gonna put a, the little added mast on there. And we're gonna paint over the snake because I don't like the snake. I think it looks unrealistic. I've never seen a Viper or a Cobra helicopter with that particular snake on it. I've seen snakes and shark mouths, but never that snake. Oh, and also we're cat sitting right now, which is awesome. Meet Cammy. Okay, so now I'm taking these little uh, flashies and changing the color of the bulbs using my soldering iron. So now we see that this right here used to be blue solid, now it's blinking red. This one used to be um, blue solid and now it's blinking green for the helicopter navigational lights. Well, it may not look like it, but this is a huge victory for me, this little part right here. It was really hard to get it to fit just right. And uh, it works great now. Once it's painted, it'll look a lot better, but man, I'm glad it works. As you can see, I've got the blade marked off for sawing, uh, so that it'll look like the actual blade does somehow. All right, so I have painted these uh, exhausts and the tail rotor motor, uh, or gearbox rather, um, black, and then I've used silver uh, dry brushing. Uh, to highlight the details. Okay, so this is the main rotor shaft. I used little copper wires for the pullers for the swash plate. It's looking pretty good so far. All right, and this is the finished assembly without the propeller blades. So I think it looks very close to the original. Everything's screwed together, and those bolts are spec as well. Okay, I'm now applying the light gray coat to all of the light gray parts. The color that I'm using for this helicopter for the light area is Tamiya Color, light gray. Uh, this stuff is expensive, it was like 10 bucks a can for a tiny can as you can see, uh, but it works great.
All right, so this is how the weathering turned out on the helicopter. And I'm not gonna reveal the whole helicopter yet until I'm ready to do the final version. Uh, when I have all the parts, there's still a couple things I need to do to it. But I'm very happy with how the uh, weathering turned out. Um, I ended up just using a brush and some really light and smoke um, paint because uh, my airbrush was being dumb. I don't know what's wrong with that airbrush. But anyway, very happy. So this right here is all of the parts that I did not use that are iterations, basically versions that didn't work for the helicopter. So they say don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good, but in this case I wanted this helicopter be, to be as perfect as possible. So the engine exhaust, I did about five iterations before I liked it. The tail um, horizontal stabilizers, I did about three. Uh, the blades uh, connector, I did two. The tail rotor, I did two. The top mast area by the um, 
main rotor, I did three. And then the, the camera, I wanted to have look really good. So I did multiple iterations, about four or five. And then I realized that the 3D printer didn't have enough accuracy to do a perfectly round ball. So I just bought a little wooden ball and used that for the camera and it looks a lot better. And then these are all the parts of the helicopter that I took off to change it from a Cobra to a Viper. So I'm not using the weapon wings, I'm not using the propellers, I'm not using the tail rotor, the exhaust, uh, the tail fins, or the original camera. So all that stuff came.